here are step-by-step -step instructions on how to start your blog and set up your themes. What I suggest is go to www.startamomblog.com slash SiteGround. SiteGround is amazing. They have amazing customer service and I have an entire video review of them. So go to that website. You'll end up at SiteGround. Then click on um, sign up for web hosting right here. Only $3.95 a month. It's pretty cheap. Learn more, get started on your um, one website. It's more than enough space for a website and 10,000 monthly visitors is great if you're starting out. Get started. Choose uh, your amazing new cute little domain name. Uh, make sure it's short and sweet and something that people can remember and that's easy to spell. And also type it all out to make sure that it doesn't look funny. Okay, so choose your domain, my new awesome do domain. Then choose the extra services you would like and go ahead and pay and pay now. I'm not going to do this because I already have a site. So go ahead and pay. Then once you're in and you're in your account, you will see your new domain. And I have a whole bunch. I love domains. Go into your support tab. Click on live chat, and this normally takes super quick. This is real fast. Click on technical assistance, and this is one of the parts that I absolutely love about SiteGround because they're super, super quick. So look at that cute little heart. With other hosting companies I've been with before, they would keep me on hold on the phone for like 20 minutes to 30 minutes, and when you have kids, that's really hard. So here, SiteGround, they're already there. I mean, I didn't cut any of this video, um, super quick. So what you're gonna come here and ask them, hi, I just bought, oops, can't type, bought a new domain, can you install wordpress.org on it for me? And send the log, send me the login details. Okay, so that's what you're gonna ask them. I'm not really gonna talk to this guy because I'm just using this as an example. So thank you so much, Turbo. I apologize, I'm going to exit out of your screen now. But you ask them, hey, I just bought a new domain. Can you install WordPress.org on it for me? And send me the login details. After they do that and they send you the login details, you go to your new domain name. And I'll use one of my old domains that I don't use currently. And type in your domain name. Um, so. The domain name I'm using for this one is sidehustleinvesting.com. So type in your domain name, .com, slash WP um, hash or dash login.php. So go to that, just type in your domain here that you just bought. And then use the login details that the SiteGround tech just sent you. So this would be your little login, and this is logging into the back side of your, your blog or your website. So I know this can be confusing, but think about SiteGround as being the landlord. So you have to pay them that $3.95 per month to have server space. They're your landlord. Then you're logging into your WordPress.org platform, which is kind of like your little apartment building. This is where you house your, your website. So... WordPress.org is your little apartment. And then your domain name, that's that cute little plaque that you put on your front door. That's the name of your little apartment building. So SiteGround is your landlord, WordPress.org is your apartment building, and your domain name is your cute little plaque on your front door. I hope that helps you. Okay, so then you log into WordPress.org um, on the back end of your website. And this is what it will look like. So really a little confusing at first if you're just starting out, but, and you're like, well, where's my website? What you have to do initially is go to appearance and themes. And then now you're deciding what your apartment or your website will look like. So what kind of layout do I want? And keep in mind, whenever you choose one here, this is not exactly what your layout is gonna look like if you um, activate it it takes some time to customize it and make it look like the previous you're seeing here I am using um, the customizer theme I really like it It has a lot of customization that you can add to it hence the name 
So if you want to choose another one, you come here and you click on either live preview so you just see it or activate. So for this example, let's let's go ahead and choose this theme. All right, so here you see, okay, well, this is the picture that they put in here. Here are some awesome little responsive buttons. And when they say it's a responsive layout, that means it works well on different mobile devices. So you definitely want that. You want your website to show up nicely on mobile um, phones and tablets and desktops. So what you do when you activate a new theme, you go into all these cute little um, customization tabs here on the side. So each theme would be a little different, but they all have this left-hand tab where you can change different areas of your website. So it does take some time to go through and change things exactly as you like them. Um, I could go through the details of this specific layout, but they're all different. So, And it'll just take a couple, couple hours or so just to play around with this and kind of see what you want to do. You can also have a static front page, which you can choose one of your pages to be a, a static front page if you want that, or you can just show your latest blog post. All right, so let's go. You can either save and activate it if you like what it looks like, or you can go back and choose a different theme. If you just want to test them out and kind of see the feel for them, click on Live Preview, and this will show you how that theme feels. So that's kind of fancy, look at that. Okay, if you want to install a new theme that's not on here, what I suggest is go to Add New here under Themes. And when you choose a theme or you download a theme, it will be in a zip file. So you can choose your theme. I have the Divi theme on my real website, so I'll choose that and open. Install now and click on activate if you would like to use this theme. So again, this will take some time to set it up exactly as I wanted because this is the Divi theme um, without any customization that I've gone through on this tab. And when you see my real website that I use all the time, this also uses a Divi theme, but you can see it looks completely different because I've gone through all the customization steps and laid out the things as I want them. So it does take some time, but this is the really fun part. It's like decorating your apartment, setting the couches where you want them, um, and painting the walls. This is all the really fun part of blogging. So you can see here. Okay, so you can save and activate it after you've done the customization that you want to. Okay, so if you go back to your themes, you'll see here is Divi that I just installed. So that wasn't too hard to install. Um, if you have any plugins that you want to install, go onto the plugins tab, add new plugin. You can either search for awesome plugins. I recommend Yoast SEO to help you with your SEO and to help create great pages so that you um, you rank better in Google search. So there's a Yoast SEO one. So if you have a plugin that you downloaded from somewhere that you would like to install, click on upload plugin, click on choose file. Here's my Divi Builder plugin. Open and click install now. See here at the bottom, there's a progress bar, 50%. 70% done. And then you click on activate plugin. And there you are. The Divi Builder is now activated. So that's pretty much the back end of your website. Um, under appearance, remember you go to themes and then you can customize it. On plugins, you can install new plugins or add new ones. This is after you do those two steps initially, um, you might not dabble there. Um, too much anymore. What you're going to use every day is go into posts and add a new post. So here's a couple quick tips with adding new posts. So make sure to choose a catchy title, something that will have people click, um, something like 11 ways to improve your life drastically today. Okay, quick little tips. They love, um, people love to read list posts. And if you do odd numbers, they're clicked on more than even numbers. 
So keep that in mind. Um, if you use the words like today or now or instantly, those things grab attention as well. So do that. Just a quick little tip. Um, you can start your theme here or your post. Post title, post text. Okay. Oops, go into visual. So here you can change your text from headings um, or just to be, um, I mean, just to be regular text. Be sure to include headings throughout your post to make it easier for other people to read it. And Google also looks at these headings and the titles of these headings to help with um, your SEO ranking. So be sure to divide your paragraphs up with nice headings um, and nice titles. So that makes it easier for other people to read and for Google to read your site as well. Um, be sure to include a featured image. This is the image that will show up when you post this say, to Facebook or to other social media accounts. So optimize your, your picture to be the right size um, for those different social media accounts and so that it shows up nicely on your blog too. So again, let's choose this little bear, which is not the right size for an image, but I'll show you what it looks like. There you go. So you have your little set image. Um, you can put your post into different categories. So when people go onto your website and they search for these categories, this post will show up. And those are the basics. There's a ton more that you can do and there's a lot to learn, but it's really exciting. You're building your own little online business and what you should see your blog as is your online resume. That's how people view you. Um, it's your brand. I mean, that's what people talk about when they say it's your brand. So make sure to be open and honest with other people. Be yourself because that will set you apart and make you unique. Be sure to include an about you page because people read that. And they People follow people, not blogs. So make sure to have some personal personality in your blog have your about me page and include a picture have your affiliate disclaimer if you do sell through affiliate links here's your blog you can have a page for all your blog posts or you can have a page for different categories like economic data if that was one of your categories or performance or resources definitely have a resources page as well because that would be a great place for people to go if they want to see what tools and websites you're using to be successful all right, so that is just the basics of installing your website or creating your website through SiteGround, installing it, and changing themes and plugins. If you have any more questions, you are super duper welcome to email me anytime, and you can find me here at startamomblog.com.